Last week, China released their DeepSeek R1 AI model, and it quickly became the number one AI in the world. Everybody was freaking out and basically wrote off OpenAI until ChatGPT launched their O3 Mini and O3 Mini High models just a few days ago. These new models are absolutely amazing, and they have the best coding capabilities I have ever seen. Let's go over how it works and how you can use it today, along with some amazing examples of what it can do. Let's jump right in. All right, so I put these threads out on X, so if you don't follow me on X, definitely follow me. It's at Mark Godala. It's my full name, at Mark Godala on X. I drop these right as they come out. So you don't have to wait for me to make a YouTube video and edit it, which takes a few days. So it comes right out. So this is, you know, one of the examples I want to show you here. So this is actually the latest thread I put out. This is on the coding capabilities. But before we look at that, I just want to show you the benchmark. So this is where it basically lines up with O3 Mini, which is their latest model, O1, Claude Sonnet, and DeepSeek. So in terms of coding, you can see that the coding average for O3 Mini is an 82. So that is significantly higher than everything else that's on the market right now. That beats O1, 3.5 Sonnet, and DeepSeek R1, which was actually making a push to be the number one coding and number one used AI in the world. So this is a very, very big deal. They are way ahead of everyone else in coding. And the reason why this gets me so excited is because I use coding so much in what I do, and you can use it as well to make tons of money online, whether that's doing coding for other people or developing your own applications. So I might make a video on that in the future. If you want to see that, drop a comment and definitely subscribe to this channel if you want to stay up to date on AI and how you can use it to get ahead. So let's go over some of the examples of what it can do now that you've seen that. So this is just a very quick example of uh, the difference between O3 Mini and DeepSeek R1. So you can see here that O3 Mini was asked to code an octagonal ball bouncing around here in this sort of octagonal shape, and it does a really good job with the physics of the ball. So they asked DeepSeek to do the same thing, and it works, but not quite as good. You can see that the physics here with this bouncing ball are much better with O3 Mini. You're going to see this kind of example a lot, by the way, because the physics is really a big part of coding something really good. So you can see this sort of a block breaker game here. Somebody coded uh, in one shot. So basically they just asked it one time, hey, code me this game, and it coded the whole game instantly. Really, really cool. This is a 3D ocean graphic in JavaScript. I thought was really amazing too. So they actually coded this whole 3D graphic of like a ship at sea with these with 3D motion of the ocean here, pretty cool stuff. Oh, so we looked at that. So another 3D JavaScript example with the bouncing balls. So this one's a little bit more complex. He's asking for a hundred bouncing balls within a sphere. And you can see it did a very, very good job of this. And it's using p5.js, which is a 3D JavaScript library. And it did this in one shot. Think about how much you can do now with just writing and asking O3 to do this. And by the way, it's 100% free if I haven't mentioned that yet. All you gotta do is go to chatgpt.com, make an account, and you can start using this right now. Now. So this guy actually went ahead and built a full like Space Invaders hour, game here, used which I thought was really cool. Did this in Python very quickly and easily. Very, very cool stuff. Another example of sort of the physics here within a ball. And this is really cool. This is actually a full teaching guide. So it's basically like a private tutor that they built. Why does water expand? And it gives you these full visual explanations of what it's trying to teach. So this could be really revolutionary for tutoring, you know, kids who just want to, you know, learn, get better grades and things like that without having to spend a ton of money on tutors, private tutors. You can basically have AI tutor you right now, right? And just develop these for you. So I thought that was really cool. This is also amazing. It's a 3D recreation of the solar system. So they got the whole solar system made a full 3D recreation with all of the axes and spinning properly with the size of the planets. Very, very cool stuff. And uh, last in this thread was they asked it to make a unicorn. And <laughs> this is... This is what I came up with. So we're not quite there with the unicorn drawings, but pretty cool. So this I thought was amazing too. This is in a thread that I dropped today. So if you don't know about this, this is the quantum slit experiment. So basically uh, this is one of the things about quantum physics. So when you observe these particles, so when there's a camera pointing at these particles, it behaves differently than when there isn't a camera pointing at them. So without getting too into the weeds there, that's basically what this is. So uh, somebody asked O3 Mini to create a full 3D simulation of the quantum slit experiment, and it did it in one shot. This is so freaking cool. Look at this. So it's a full 3D representation of the experiment. So you can see he turns off observer mode and you can see that it behaves differently, right? You can see that um, the lines line up differently. One, two, three, four, five lines. Whereas when you're in observer mode, right? So it's being observed. It behaves in this, this way where th there's only two lines instead of the five here. So really, really cool stuff. And I mean, to be able to code that instantly, amazing, amazing stuff. So somebody here cloned the Yeezy store. So uh, Kanye's back on X and he's, he's been going a little crazy there. So somebody actually went and coded, recoded his whole store 
uh, using O3, pretty cool. Another person coding a Galaxy game, I thought that was pretty cool too. Another person using water simulation. But what, what I found really cool about this is that they actually uh, brought this into Blender. So Blender is like a free 3D application for 3D modeling and things like that. But they brought in a Python script. So they asked it to write a Python script for water movement. Um, and it brought this into Blender. So created this 3D animation in Blender. That's pretty cool. So it not only coded something in Python, but it actually coded a full 3D animation that you can now export to use for any kind of 3D modeling you want. So video games, you know, movies, whatever. So really, really cool. Uh, someone else created like a, I think this is like a Japanese board game or something. So yeah, they, they coded this as well. Again, one shot, did this in one shot, pretty cool. So what this guy did, I thought this was really interesting. He basically coded like a breakdown. So this is like a coding plan. So he actually had it do a full coding plan for him. So he used O3 mini to create a coding plan that he then imported into cursor. So check this out on X if you wanna see the whole video. I thought this was really, really cool. But essentially you can see that he has the whole instructions here. Read all the documents in this folder, create a detailed 40 step plan, don't mention blah, blah, blah. And so he actually gave it all of the directions it needed. So he had O3 mini write out the directions and then it did all of those things perfectly and it coded this thing that he wanted. So very cool stuff there. So if you don't know how to prompt properly in terms of writing code in cursor, O3 mini will do that for you. Pretty cool. Another one of these balancing ball tests. We've seen a million of these at this point, but you can just see how much better this is than deep seek. Uh, you see the mechanics of this are just really, really good. So it's funny, somebody commented on one of my, uh, on this thread here. I thought this was a really good comment. He said, what if they're just, optimizing these models for the bouncing balls. <laughs> Conspiracy theory, they looked at what everyone else has been using to test deep seek, mainly balls in shapes, and quickly fine-tuned O3 to excel these particular types of problems. I mean, that's brilliant. I don't know that that's what they're doing, but if they are doing it, that's actually really brilliant. So you can see, obviously it does a much better job. Coincidence, I don't know. So another cool like 3D uh, JavaScript animation here with physics. Uh, somebody else built like a little Mario style game here where you just have like a 2D object jumping around on platforms, pretty cool. This I thought was sweet too. So this is, um, somebody's actually building Minecraft maps and you can see it does a really good job. So he, he prompted it to build an amazing, large, organic and epic floating island in Minecraft and it did a pretty good job, so pretty cool. Some more 3D animation stuff. This kind of reminds me of like the old school Windows logo and that old school Windows um, background screensaver. So pretty cool, pretty sweet. A Tetris clone, um, so. This is pretty cool as well. It's interesting to me that a lot of these early testers and people that are using this model really well are, are in Japan. So something interesting. And the last one here is this ocean storm animation uh, that I thought was pretty awesome as well. And it did this all in one shot. So amazing stuff coming out of ChatGPT. They knocked this out of the park. So definitely go try it out. Just go to chatgpt.com. O3 mini is the model. And I can just show you how to use that real quick. So basically just go to chatgpt.com. You got to select from this drop down here. So it's getting a little a little uh, heavy with models here. So 4040 40, schedule task. Oh, one, O3 mini, O3 mini high. You get O3 mini high if you have the pro version, which I do. Um, and then you can see they have more models here, but O3 mini is all you need. And it's really, really, really good. So if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. If you want to stay up to date in the world of AI and drop a comment, I'd love to hear what you have to say.